Hi folks, it's Chef Kevin. Tonight I'm making Wiener Schnitzel. Wiener Schnitzel was actually created in Austria, but the Germans made it famous, and it's one of their favorite foods. In German, Wiener Schnitzel means Viennese cutlet. And what I have now are four veal cutlets. They're already cut thin enough. They're about a quarter of an inch or so. I have breadcrumbs, flour, an egg, salt and pepper. This is going to be a nice little meal. Watch how I do it. Okay folks, let's get right into this. So basically this is a a breaded cutlet is all it is. And I remember my mother making this for me, making this for us, I should say, growing up in the 60s. Salt and pepper, both sides. She's still alive, but she doesn't make Wiener schnitzel too often. I'll have to make it for her next time I see her. Okay, salt and pepper, both sides, very important. I patted these down <clears throat> with the paper towels so there's no blood, no moisture on them. I'm going to go ahead and flour them. Okay. <clears throat> now I don't have an elaborate station here which you would use if you had a bulk order to make like in a restaurant. I'm just making four so there's no sense in creating that whole station. But a lot of times when you do that you end up throwing out more product than you should be. Okay, nicely floured. Okay, I'm going to put them in a foil tray here. I actually have two eggs in here. I'm just going to pour it right on top. Gonna make sure they get coated nicely, both sides. Okay, I have a dish of panko breadcrumbs here. Just going to place it on top. Flip it over. You really do not, you do not want to pound it in. Just like that. That one is ready. These are going to come out nice and crispy. That's what it looks like. Das ist gut. Okay. I'm going to finish the other two. And then what I'm going to do is put them back in the fridge for 15 minutes. And let them get set up. And then I'm going to saute them and create a wonderful German meal.
Okay, I just took the cutlets out of the refrigerator after 15, 20 minutes. They're nice and set up. I'm going to add a good amount of vegetable oil to the pan. You want it, you want it to be pretty hot, but not overly hot because you don't want the oil to make the food soggy. Now, if you're not a fan of veal, you can substitute veal for chicken or beef or even pork. Okay, this should take three to four minutes per side. I just flipped these over. You can see how nice and brown they are. So I want to get the same brownness on the other side. And then I'm going to put them in a oven just to keep them warm while I get my sides together. Okay, I just pulled them off, put them on a paper towel. Gonna let the excess oil drip off of them. Okay, folks, Wiener Schnitzel is served with sauteed red cabbage and parsley potato wedges. Now, this is sort of similar, but not exactly how it would be served in Germany. I mean, there's a lot of different sides. You can have uh, Spätzle. You can have potato dumplings, gorkon salad, which is German cucumber salad, potato dumplings, there's many things. So usually it is served with a, a piece of lemon. And you gotta have some sort of gravy or sauce. Goes right on. Little garnish of the parsley. And we have a perfectly cooked German meal. I hope you've enjoyed my videos. And let me just cut into this. We'll see how it tastes. Very crunchy on the outside. Hmm. I think it's really good. You really can't get this in many places. This is German comfort food. Nice and crispy on the outside. You can cut it with a fork. Mm. Das ist wunderbar. I'm going to cook this for my mother next time I see her. She'll, she'll tell me exactly how good it is. Okay, thanks again for watching.